Hi, for this video, what I want to do is talk to you about empty and universal sets. Um, an empty set is also known as a null set sometimes, um, is a set containing no elements. That means that there is nothing in it. Um, it could be a situation as described and there's nothing that matches it. Um, but anytime you end up with something that is empty, it's denoted by either a circle with a line through it or you can use the set brackets with nothing inside. So these are the two ways that are um, used to denote empty sets in mathematics. So an example could be rolling a seven on a die. Um, this would result in an empty set because when you're rolling a die, you can only end up with the numbers one, two, three, four, five, or six. And so like if you were looking for the probability of rolling a seven, that would be zero because there aren't any. It, your result is a um, empty set because there is nothing that matches that. Okay. Um, the other one that I want to talk to you about is a universal set. A universal set will change from problem to problem. Um, it's the set that contains all of the elements for a specific situation or a given problem, and we denote it by the capital letter U. Um, so a couple examples that you might encounter would be all the letters in the alphabet. So if you ended up with a letter that was in the alphabet, then it would be contained in your set. If you ended up with something like, say, a number, um, then it would not be contained in that set. Okay, um, another example would be the numbers one, two, three, four, five, six. This would be the set of all values that can be rolled on a number um, or on a die or a number cube as they sometimes call it in some textbooks now. Um, but it's just the numbers one, two, three, four, five, six. Another example could be the set of all real numbers. So it really does change from problem to problem. So a universal set is dependent on the information that is given to you. So um, a lot of times it will be given to you in the directions. It will say for this set, use this universal set, or for this set, it has to be um, a real number. So if it's not contained in there, then it would result in an empty set. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you need me to cover, please let me know that as well.